I remember the first time we hung out, there was something magnetic about the way you talked, something so authentic and real. You know, so much has happened since the day you met. There's been peaks, there's been valleys, there's been ups and downs, good times, hard times, times of doubt, anxiety. But you overcame all these things and stand here before Almighty God, your parents, your friends, and all these witnesses. I think I'm falling Well, I might need someone to lean on Maybe that somebody is you You could be my parachute Promise I'll jump Your parents have been the key influencers and decision makers in your life. They've led you through some pivotal and defining moments. Their encouragement and support have been a constant source of guidance. But starting today, all that will change. Of course, they'll continue to support and encourage you. But when you leave this altar, you'll be husband and wife, as the Apostle Paul says, one flesh. You are leaving their guardianship to now become husband and wife and build your own home and establish your identity as husband and wife in this world. <laughs> You're the most beautiful bro. Carol Lee, in the last year you have flipped my whole world upside down in the best way possible. I always believed that God had someone out there that he created for me. But it's hard to comp comprehend how gracious he's been to me in leading me to you. I love you. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> oh, babe, I love you. You my dress. <laughs> Is it what you expected? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I almost guessed it. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> it's the opposite. <laughs> Within a few weeks, we had become good friends, and now I truly cannot begin to describe the love and honor I have for you, realizing that those first impressions were only scratching the surface of your character. You are indescribably beautiful, so much that when you smile at me, it gets hard to breathe, and I still get butterflies when you walk down the stairs when I go to pick you up on a date. I promise you that feeling will never go away. Words fail me, but thank you for loving me, for loving God and seeking truth above all else, for being my safe place. Thank you for being someone I can trust with my whole heart, my whole life. I promise to only have eyes for you and be loving and faithful to you alone. I promise to always bring you flowers, no matter how old we get. <laughs> and I promise to always remind you of your indescribable beauty and why you will always be the love of my life. I love you. We're getting married. <laughs> you are my very best friend, and I vow to love you forever. In the highs and in the lows, I'm going to stand by your side. I will always be your greatest supporter, your confidant, and your friend. I promise to give myself to you completely for the rest of our lives, keeping you above all else, second only to Jesus.
I love you with everything in me. Now that you have given yourselves to each other by the promises you have made, and by the power that is vested in me by the state, and in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jack, you may kiss your bride. smile on Kara's face. I mean, when is she not smiling? Except for maybe when you leave the freezer and cover doors hanging over there. Every time I see you, everything around you fades into the perspective for who Kara just married. Jack holds the title in our family by a long shot for the most spankings ever received by a green child. <laughs> At some point he just like got tired of it and started like putting on a ton of underwear before he would go to get spanked. Jack would get in his room before dad came out and just like throw a bunch of underwear on. And he got away with it for a long time until dad was like, man, this is like, it doesn't sound quite the same. You know? <laughs> After the first weekend that Kara really got to know Jack, she texted me the next day and wrote, 24 hours since I met my husband. And then the next day, 48 hours since I met my husband. And so on for like a week. It makes me so happy that you were right. 